Do you not know what accessory to buy for your iPad and do you not have that much money to spend? In this video, I'm gonna show you four accessories under $50 that can help transform your iPad experience and keep the cost down. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm really excited about this video. Let's kind of just get right into the accessories. So first up, I have this case right here by Targus, it's called the VersaView for the iPad Pro 12.9 inch, and it's for the 2018 model. On the back here, you can see we have a cutout for the Apple logo, the cutout for the camera, got a placement for your Apple Pencil, and you got this little flap to hold it closed, and also keep your Apple Pencil nice and secure. When you open it up, you see these ridges right here that will be able to be used for different viewing angles, as well as a strap to as well as a strap to put your hand through in case, when you're holding it. So that way you have a little bit more stability and more security when you're holding it. And then you have these three notches right here. So you got the first, you actually got four notches. You got this one, two, three, and then four. And then you also have this viewing angle right here, which makes it easy for typing or writing at an angle. One of the best features about this case though, and where that circular cutout on the back comes in, is you can actually swivel this around. So I'm going to use this strap back here and then so that comes in handy when you want to use it like this, for example. So one example of using this type of mode is when you have it standing up like this, you can have a keyboard and then you have a full page that you'll be able to view while you're typing. So I use that for my writing assignments for school, which comes in handy. One thing that's really cool about this case is this little design right here. It provides some ventilation for the iPad. So usually when you're like doing video editing or photo editing or some gaming, it'll get really warm sometimes if you do it for extended periods of time. And this will provide a little bit of ventilation so that way it, the heat can come out of the iPad. And then also with these ridges right here, it's actually going to be a little bit thicker around the rim of the device, so I think it'll be good for drop protection. Obviously not from like a parking structure, but it'll be good for just kind of maybe hip height drops, try to survive. But I do recommend AppleCare if you're going to be dropping it. I know no one plans on it, but you never know. Okay, my next accessory is going to actually allow one of the other ones to work and might actually come in handy for you for your usage and it's going to be a USB type C adapter. With this one, what you can do is just plug it into the iPad. And as you see here, I have this Velcro strip that I have it. So that way I can just slap it on the back of my iPad and plug it in, which comes in handy a lot because the HDMI outputs there. And then I can plug in one of my other accessories, which will lead into the third one, which is a mouse. So with a mouse, you can use one of these older ones where it has this dongle that you have to plug in. And you just plug it into the iPad like that using that accessory. And what happens is you'll be able to use the mouse using that and also a keyboard if you have one of those keyboards that you know function through that way. If you don't have a keyboard, I have a good one for you right here. It's going to be a Bluetooth keyboard that has a wedge design and it's really cool because it has a scissor switch type of feel to it. And I think they advertise on the Amazon page that they have a scissor switch in the keyboard. So if you want to use it with three devices, this is a good keyboard. This has one, two, and three devices. One of them is going to be using a USB dongle. And then the other two are going to be via Bluetooth. It has a function row up top, which I haven't gotten to work, but the home button works and escape works in some applications on the iPad. Number pad works fine. You can see it actually has a couple different options down here. So it shows Alt if you're on Windows or Command if you're on Mac OS and then Option or Windows if you're on Windows or if you're on Mac. And all the function keys um, don't fully work. Only some of them work. I haven't been able to get them to work on the iPad. So as you can see, it just turns on or off right here. And then it has a uh, charging port via micro USB. I would have liked to see USB type C, especially since the iPad now supports it, but I guess for around $30, it can't really complain too much. It has a good typing feel to it and you can easily 
get work done on it for a long time and not have that much strain on your wrist or on your fingers. And then with the mouse, you can use pretty much any mouse you have. You can even use some wired mouse and keyboard options that you have laying around the house, which comes in handy. And especially with this tool right here, you'll be able to use it with your monitors and other accessories. And the best part is if you want to plug in a micro SD card slot, you can plug it into there instead of having other accessories or having multiple different dongles. And you can also even charge it, which I do while I'm having it hooked up to the monitor when I'm editing videos on LumaFusion. So what did you think of these products? I definitely think these are four products that should be on the top of your list, especially if you're a student, because typing is something that you will do a lot of. And also a case is really important for you not to break your, you know, kind of expensive investment. And the other products too, you can definitely use a mouse at home as long as you have that USB-C adapter. And that will definitely come in handy, especially if you're trying to import stuff from your camera that SD card slot actually helps out a lot. And also the USBs for all the extra hard drives and you know everything else you'll need when it comes to editing or to files and file management, especially USB sticks if you're trying to transfer things from your iPad over to a school computer, for example. If you're interested in any of these items, I'll be sure to link them down below in the description. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. It helps me out a lot and also subscribe for more great content. Like I said before, my next video will be on shift screen and my first impressions. So be sure to look out for that and I'll see you guys in the next one.